नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टी लाइफ फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम एंड दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल प्रोग्राम ऑफ आर्स विच इज सहयोग गाइडेंस फॉर मेंटल वेल बींग ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड यू वॉचिंग आर्स एन ई विद चैनल नंबर सिक्स टू चैनल नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड द टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज डीलिंग विद प्रेजिडिस वेल यू ऑल नो दैट अडोलसेंस दिस age this phase is very sensitive and uh, when they deal with prejudice it's not unfa- it's not fair to them and uh, it at times uh, makes them curious <laughs> makes them a little judged um, a l- and you know it could uh, leave wounds in their minds so we have to be very careful around adolescence and uh, we have to behave properly and uh, let them understand the meaning of prejudice and uh, how to deal with it if it is happening around them so we have two experts in our with us in this program and they are going to talk about how one can deal with prejudice and uh, what do we exactly understand by prejudice and a lot more if you have any questions any queries regarding this topic please feel free to give us a call on our number which is uh, 8800 440 559 and uh, if you want to email us your questions the email id would be sayog.ncert@ciet.nic.in you're watching us on our youtube channel which is ncert official in the live chat box also you can write down your questions your queries and share them with us so let me please introduce to you my first guest and she is dr basanti kharlukhi a very warm welcome to you ma'am thank you Thank you. Uh, Ma'am is from a Northeast Regional Institute of Education which is in Shillong that is NCERT. So my next guest is a practicing counselor and she is Miss R Angela Hepsaba. A very warm welcome to you to Ma'am. Thank you Ma'am. Welcome. So uh, let's begin this conversation and my first question would be to uh, Dr Kharlukhi. Ma'am would you please uh, like to explain what exactly prejudice means and also how is it different from discrimination uh, any points you would like to highlight here ma'am yes thank you so much uh, tanvi a very uh, good evening to all the viewers who are watching this program and of course those who are in the studio and to my co-panelists miss angela so today we are like uh, we're going to talk about prejudice and how to deal with prejudice but before we go into that we would like to i would like to tell you a little bit on what is prejudice uh prejudice actually you can say it is an assumption or an, an opinion about someone which involves stereotypes uh, and also prejudgment which is simply based on the person belonging to a different you know race caste sex gender religion and other more and we can when we talk of uh, prejudice it is also an uh, unfavorable opinion or feeling which is formed beforehand without knowing or without the knowledge thought or reason about the others and let me uh, put it in another way also you can, you can see that prejudice is any preconceived opinion or feelings or believed either favorable or unfavorable and this unreasonable feelings opinions or attitude especially when it comes when it is a ho- in a, a hostile nature is you can say that it is does no good for anyone at all so some of the common features you can see of prejudice will include negative feelings towards others and then the stereotype beliefs which is very common if you see nowadays and which miss angela also will be talking about later on and also a tendency to discriminate against members of any particular group or dis- discriminate against any individual now when we come to this prejudice and discrimination sometimes you know like in a lay when we just casually talk or in a layman's word we can we always feel like it is you know almost the same however we can say that uh, please go to the next slide yes uh, now when we talk about prejudice and discrimination prejudice actually is not the same as discrimination prejudice refers to the attitudes 
the beliefs that we have about another individual or about any individual or groups of individual members, societies, communities, religion, whatever attitudes that we have that, uh, you know, and let me tell you also, prejudice is an attitude, not an action. But when we talk about discrimination, discrimination describe actions that can be based on or that can arise due to our prejudice about uh, prejudice towards individual or groups of individual. So prejudice is, it literally means to prejudge, to make judgment without sufficient evidence or in spite of evidence to the contrary. And discrimination is the act, is the act which can be based on that prejudice. So these, these are actually prejudice and discriminations are different. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, for the layman's language, I'll, I'll just uh, summarize what you have said. So prejudice is basically the prejudgment, the notions, uh, the assumptions or the opinions. And uh, we just have them in our minds. We don't act on them. That's how they, difference, they, they differentiate between discrimination and uh, prejudice. Am I right, ma'am? Yes. Okay. So, uh, let's understand this a little better with the help of a few examples. Angela, ma'am, would you like to help us here? Yes. Thank you, Tanvi, ma'am. Next slide. Uh, let us see the types of prejudices around us. First, prejudice arises due to racism, sexism, ageism, classism, and nationalism, and finally, it is religious prejudice. So when we say about racism, it is uh, the prejudice between the fair and the dark, and especially the North Indians as well as the South Indians. Sexism refers to male as well as female. Ageism means the prejudice that arises between the young people as well as the old people. Next one is classism, high class whereas low class or to Tell it in a very simple language, the rich versus the poor. Next one is the nationalism. Nationalism refers to India versus Pakistan. And last one is the religious prejudice, that is the Hindu versus the Muslims. So to understand the types of prejudice much better, we can see some examples. Next slide, ma'am. So first, it is generally understood that white-skinned people always tell the truth. The next prejudice that exists among us is all fat people are lazy. It, not, it is not necessary that fat people are lazy. There are so many fat people who are very active. The next one, all women spend more time in makeup. The next one, the next one which exists is all old people are bitter. The young people do not want to accept the opinions of the old people so they just make a prejudiced statement that the old people are bitter the next one is all government employees are corrupt and finally all muslims are terrorists so these are the common examples of prejudice okay. and next we come to next slide ma'am next we we, saw, we can see some examples of prejudice that we, ex we all experience in our school. The, the first one is South Indian students cannot compete in Hindi. It is not necessary. Many South Indian students do compete very well in Hindi. Next, we, can, we hear a lot of, when we are especially in a co-education school, we can hear that sports are for boys. So boys are mostly encouraged to participate in sports which involves a lot of physical activities next one team affinity or categorization sometimes we always feel that everyone in team b the team b is creative we are, when we are in team a we always have a prejudice team b is better than us the creative people the efficient people are in the other group next one is class categorization all bright students are in a section and last one, 
fast skin students do well in skits and other programs in the school okay ma'am i think students can actually relate with these examples because these happen in every class even i remember when i was uh, back in school these uh, prejudices were there and uh, we always used to say that uh, south indian students they can't compete in hindi contests so i remember very vaguely that as well um thank you so much ma'am for uh, highlighting these examples and uh, i think we have understood uh, the concept of prejudice here so ma'am would you like to tell us that um, how early prejudice attitude begins and uh, what could be its negative effects on the children okay so prejudice next slide ma'am yeah next prejudice always has a ne- negative effects on all parties the one who is seen as a victim and the other one the prejudiced person also both have serious negative effects so first we'll see about the effects of the prejudiced person the prejudiced person fails to look at the individual's uniqueness every individual is unique so when we see with a prejudiced eyes we fail to see their uniqueness next it creates stifles and produce and it, it causes a lot of disability to learn next it misses out on fulfilling relationships and conversations when the person is prejudiced it affects their health mostly these people tend to have a lot of stress because always they are prejudiced they always have misconceptions so they wherever they go they are always in anger and this leads to a lot of emotional stress and anger so now we we saw about the prejudiced person now we will see how what affects the victim so when a person is discriminated or you know like they are given a negative attitude the victim is hurt emotionally they don't understand sometimes they don't understand why the person treats us like that so it hurts the person emotionally next one it decreases their self esteem they start questioning themselves what wrong did i do what happened that why am i treated like that so it decreases their self esteem next it provides a lack of equal opportunity when we are when the victim suffers a prejudiced action de- definitely they will not be given a fair treatment so there is a lack of equal opportunity the next one is frustration and stress a lot of stress and frustration occurs for a person because they are always being negatively targeted so you know at one point they, it goes to frustration and the last one is it seeps into other areas so here how prejudice next one we will see how prejudice occurs next slide ma'am yeah so how prejudice occurs so what leads to prejudice when we are born not all child children are prejudiced so somewhere when we are brought up this prejudiced thought enters our mind first they we can say it is as cognitive shortcuts when that is too much information leading to stereotyping and categorization when we are given a lot of information negative information continuously about a particular incidents or about a particular community etc what happens the child forms a type of uh, stereotyping it starts stereotyping that okay these people are bad they always have that so whenever the topic comes about the person it is very easy for them to just say oh these people are bad they need not even think twice so this is cognitive shortcuts the second one is role of social learning so they learn from parents children listen uh, learn a lot from parents when they are at home the conversation between parents so this also affects children when parents are talking in a prejudiced manner inside the homes the children observe everything and they exhibit everything outside and the next one in classrooms we see is friends prejudice one group doesn't like the other group so you know it is very easy for them okay just for my friend i want to hate the other the other person in the other group so this is friends prejudice 
So next one is social categorization. We should always say us and not them. So when, whenever there is a competition in school between, between uh, two classes or uh, there are different, usually in schools, there are different houses. Four houses will be there for children. And we can see that there will be different activities. So mostly what happens, one group forms a prejudiced attitude towards the other one. And it is always us and them. We are like this, they are like that. So this them has to be replaced with us. We all belong to the same school. We all belong to the same state. We all belong to one country. So that them should be replaced by us. Okay. So such divisions do exist in schools so this has to be reduced as early as possible so here parents play a vital role at homes and teachers whenever they, they come to they are they come to know or they, they are aware of this prejudiced thoughts definitely they should deal these things as early as possible and stop these prejudiced attitudes because when the child has prejudiced thoughts and goes out the child forms a pre it affects the child it affects also the society so teachers here in schools play a very very important role in redu reducing prejudice okay thank you thank you so much ma'am and uh, with this you even gave a message to the parents to the teachers that it is a teamwork and uh, the students who are uh, prejudiced and uh, Oh uh, no, they have such assumptions, such opinions based on uh, be gender, caste, community, religion, nationality. So um, they should improve themselves and uh, it's always us versus them. So we can call ourselves us. Let's understand uh, how can we deal with prejudice. Um, ma'am, uh, Basansi ma'am, would you like to state certain points here please? Uh, yes, uh, when it comes to dealing with prejudice, whether microaggressions or biasness or discrimination is, you can say, is both physically as well as psychologically very demanding. And when we talk about dealing with uh, prejudice, it is not just like avoiding. Avoiding is not always the best option. So how do we deal with prejudice? We have to work on it we have to act upon it and the first thing that we can do is you know like understand and uh, understand and accept understanding and acceptance here when we talk about understanding and acceptance like miss angela have also talked about the uniqueness uniqueness of each and every individual or students so here when we talk about uniqueness each and every one of us we have because you know like when we talk of prejudice Nobody can escape. Each and every one of us, we do have some, you know, amount of prejudice in us. But how we deal with it, that is more important. Just avoiding it will not be. So here when we have, when we say understanding and acceptance, that means we need to understand the uniqueness of each and every individual group of individuals, communities, caste, religion, all that. We need to understand the differences here. And then once we understand that everyone are unique, everyone are special, and definitely we will be able to accept. Acceptance is very important here because I also said that prejudice, you know, is present in each and every one of us. So the, when we say acceptance, that means first of all we have to accept ourselves, understand ourselves, because all of us or each and every one of us have our own ideas, our own views. So definitely we need to accept like say for example i'll go very fast because i can see the time because when we take like for example we are saying black and white we say black is ugly white is beauty and when we talk about tall tall and short student we say tall they're very good in basketball all these are prejudice these are all assumption so understanding that is very important and the next one is recognizing and correcting here when we talk of recognizing that means we should be able to recognize prejudice where it is, where it's happening. And also uh, when we talk about recognizing, that means we recognize our own prejudicial attitude. Okay, that is very important. This is the first step. The most important step to deal with prejudice is to recognize them 
and also to acknowledge that yes we are all affected by them see everyone has a definite ideas about certain groups of people we have definite views on certain things you can say uh, like belonging to a certain community religion all of us we are different we and have certain kind of ideas and being aware of this fact is already a step towards dealing with prejudice and secondly to make sure that because i said like every one of us we have our own prejudice secondly is that make sure that your own prejudice do not determine our behavior and our action because prejudice should not lead to uh, should not lead to exclusion or discrimination against others it should not be it should not cause any harm or it should not hurt anybody okay and not only recognizing but also correcting suppose like i'll just give you an example because it always happen around the schools around a group of people suppose you see you send someone or you see someone around you hurt or insulted you can say insults or use prejudice to others we need to correct we need to oppose to it we need to discuss the issue and let them also realize that it is not okay you know it is not okay to hurt or to use offensive things or it is not okay to insult on others based on their caste you know like sex gender and so these are some of the thing and empathy we we should always keep ourselves in the in the others you can in say shoes all right so empathy is a key to overcoming prejudice and people who can empathize others who can understand others feeling are you know they are better equipped to let go of their own and also to help deal with prejudice okay because we always have to keep ourselves in the shoes of the others and all of us we need to have a common goal a common objective we should connect with other people's perspective like we say that every one of us we have our own views so team building exercise or brainstorming is very essential it is very important we need to have a a team session or a brainstorming session so that each and every member can explore can explore and embrace different viewpoints different opinions and through this team building exercises you can see also that other qualities will be imbibed in them like tolerance um leadership and then uh, problem solving all these can be uh, it you know they can learn and it will imbibe in them so team building exercise is very essential and yes communication skills they say communication skills is very important in every in any aspect in any discipline because you know if we we are not able to communicate well if we are not, because if if anything if like suppose if we are being discriminate or if you know if there is a prejudice against you against anybody or if you are being a victim also we need to communicate we just cannot avoid that and communicate how how do we let the others know okay the one thing that i am uh, you know it's not about if we debate it, it i don't think it will be of any much help but we need to put questions after questions so that the one who be, who is being prejudiced will also understand will i mean in the long run he will think and reflect that maybe their behavior behavior is not acceptable it is not acceptable in the you can say around or in the society so there are many things on how to deal with prejudice but definitely i can say what i can say is avoiding will not be of much solution we need to tackle that but in a very more sensible we should avoid because nowadays there's so much is happening in social media all right for any small thing we explode or we try to uh, increase or enlarge it by send using social media platform i think that if we use it sensible as mature individuals i think it can help but if we are using it as a platform to increase more i think that is what you know is harmful and detrimental to the society because here like ma'am angela also have said it is not only the victim who will be hurt but even the 
person also who who you know who who always have this prejudice or who is the one who's doing it that means both both they are they will you know they uh, both they will not they will not be like a they will be hurt in one way or the other. It will affect both parties. What I'm trying to say is that it will affect both parties, not only the victim, Absolutely. but the other as well. Yes. yes, both will suffer in the long run. So uh, it's yes. never okay uh, to discriminate or to uh, be prejudiced against someone. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, both of you for being with us and uh, for letting us know so many uh, points uh, on which I think our students uh, can follow, they can understand and uh, they can deal with prejudice if they are uh, facing it around them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Tanvi. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you to all the children, to all the viewers, uh, be it a parent, a teacher or a student. If you are facing prejudice, please uh, follow the points ma'am has mentioned. And if you have missed this program, then you can watch it again on NCRT Official. And it's going to be uploaded over there so you can watch it anywhere, anytime you want. Thank you so much once again for understanding uh, the concept of prejudice and uh, for enjoying the entire program. My name is Tanvi Kurana and I'll take a leave of you for now. We are wrapping up our today's programs, but tomorrow we'll come back again with more subjects, with more topics. So keep your questions ready and keep on watching Evidya channels. Take great care. Namaskar.